Becca. I thought I would show you how I color with Prismacolor pencils for this card. So I'm just going in with um, some peach colors to do the skin and then I'm blending them out um, to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm just adding a slight little bit of pink to the cheek of the stamp. This is a Sweet November stamp I got from All That Scraps. It's just such an adorable image. So for the brown, I'm just starting with my lightest color and blending it out with my blending stump. And I'm using a Terpenoid Odorless Blender to do this. So I start with a lighter color and then I'm going to go in with a darker one to give some more dimension. And then I'll blend it out again. Um, and I use different blending stumps for everyone I do just because I don't like filing them every time. Uh, it just kind of is a pain. It's a lot easier to do it that way. And so now I'm just going to uh, try to give some more uh, dimension in the hair. So I'm just uh, flicking on some colors and then I colored that in. Now I paper pieced this little outfit with a cute uh, little snowflake paper. So it's uh, really adorable. And so I did that. Now this is the first time I've ever paper pieced. If I did this again, I would definitely finish coloring the rest of the image before I started paper piecing. Um, just because getting into the little cracks between where his, uh, the present is and his little jammies was a little tricky. But I still managed. So now I'm laying on some red. I'm just using one red and I just put one line down and then I just blend it out so that it uh, gives a light to dark look. And then I'm going in with green. So the present's going to be red and green, but you'll see in a little while that I decide I don't like that color combination and I end up changing it. So for the little um, elf on his slipper, I just colored it with some lighter green and then a little red nose and then a green and red hat and then you don't even really have to do much for blending for that. And then I have this really uh, pretty blue color. And I went ahead and uh, put some on. And then it just uh, blended out nicely because it's such a rich color. And I just love how it looks. So I'm going ahead and doing that. And then once I do that, I'm using the same pen that I just used. Because it's still got lots of blue color on it. And I'm just adding some shading to the... Um, pick, well, not the picture, to the paper piecing. And uh, then I decided that I like that color a lot better than the green, so I just added it over top. With Prismas, you can just keep adding colors over top as much as you want and blending it out. So that's what I did there. And it just gave it a, a nice color. And then I added some of the green to the blue so that it uh, matched the rest of the present. And I really like how that turned out. Um, I just really love this image. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of that same blue to the uh, elf. Now I have my paper. Uh, it's five and a half by four and a quarter. And I have no idea where I got this uh, paper from. It was just in my scrap, so I'm pretty sure it's probably from Kijiji. And so now I'm taking tea dye ink and I'm going around all the edges of my paper, giving it uh, a little, making it pop a little bit more. Then I'll go ahead and put that down and it hangs over a little bit. I like uh, having it hang over rather than cutting it too short, so I just cut it at the end. So I'm doing the same thing with this blue piece. Um, I didn't measure these pieces, they were just scraps, so whatever the size the scraps were um, is what it was. It looks like the one is probably about three inches and the other one is about an inch. So now I'm going around the entire card and I'm inking all the edges with tea dye distress ink. And now that I've done that, I have this cutout that I um, used with a spellbinder side. It's a doily, and I glimmer misted it. Um, and then the edges were sticking up a little bit, so I added some glue. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop up the image, and I'm just using some, uh, not foam tape, some uh, just regular foam that you can get in the kids section of a craft store. Um, it's a cheaper alternative to buying pop dots all the time and all you do is you just add a little bit of glue to it. So for the big pieces I can use my ATG gun and then the smaller pieces I'll add a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi Glue just to make it stick better. So then I just go ahead and position that and put it right in the center and I really like how that looks. And then I had some ribbon, and this is a little bit of a different color blue than the rest of the card, but I wanted a little bit of a pop of some extra color. So I just went ahead and 
put some tape on the backs to hold it and then I'm not very good at bows so I'll be tying a knot instead and I like the look of knots so I use those quite a bit so I go ahead and tie it and then I'm just going to use my scissors and I'll just trim off the edges and then I decided while I was looking at this that I wanted the ribbon underneath the doily so I went and changed that and then I found this other scrap that had all these little triangles so I went ahead and I inked and distressed all of the triangles and then I added them on the top to make a cute little banner and I really like how that turned out um, it just so happened that I had this paper so it worked out perfectly and I didn't have to try and uh, match triangles or anything like that and so they're all a little bit different and I'm just doing them in an angle I'm not adding any twine or anything to it just it's just a little bit of decoration and I didn't add letters to it or anything either so then I'm gonna put the last one on and then that's all done and I really like how that looks so I had a little trouble with the last one just getting in the right spot so my craft card stock or my card base is craft card stock and so I'm just gonna go ahead and line that up and put that on and I really like the look of the craft with the, all these colors that I chose now I use the My Pink Santa for stamp to start with, but you're going to see when you see the pictures that I changed this after the fact. Um, my idea was to emboss this with gold embossing powder, but the D on the stamp didn't stamp all the way, and then I had redone it, but it got all smudged, and I just really didn't like the look of it. So I ended up uh, finding a... Uh, sticker and it had a pop dot on it and I just pulled the pop dot off and it was white and so what I did is I inked all the edges and um, over it with tea dye ink to make it match and you'll see that in the pictures so I'm just adding some glitter to the present for a last little touch on the card and a little bit on the elf's nose and his hat and that's the card so thank you so much for watching and have a great day